In the 2006 draft, the New Orleans Saints selected Marcus Colston in the seventh round with the 252nd pick, just three picks away from Mr. Irrelevant. Colston was the 32nd wide receiver drafted that year. Wait, this story is about Marcus Colston dominating the tight end position that year. How did we get there? Well, it's time for a Fantasy Football Rewind. Coming into the 2006 draft, scouts thought that Colston would need to put on weight for his large frame and move to the tight end position to see any success in the NFL. The official summary for Marcus Colston on the NFL draft site says, his measurables make you think he has the speed to be effective playing outside as a receiver, but once you watch a little film, it is clear he lacks the burst and speed to get separation from NFL cornerbacks and is best suited to make the switch to tight end. At tight end, he has the speed to get down the seam versus linebacker coverage and can get separation out of cuts. He has the frame to eventually bulk up to 240 plus pounds, will be able to run strong with the ball and gain yards after contact. He will be a good runner after the catch. Many people assumed new Saints head coach Sean Payton would follow the analysts and switch Colston to a tight end. And because of this, some fantasy football websites had Marcus Colston listed at the tight end position. Well, you know what they say about assuming. Going into the 2006 season, Marcus Colston was listed as a wide receiver for the New Orleans Saints. Some fantasy football sites correctly adjusted Colston's position to wide receiver, but Yahoo chose to stick to their initial position and keep him at tight end. Yahoo's reasoning comes from their policy on position eligibility determination, which states, at the beginning of the fantasy football season, Yahoo Sports placed all players into positions based on information from official rosters. Some players might appear in multiple position lists and are eligible to fill any of those positions. In-season updates to position eligibility are made only if it is clear that the player's primary position has changed. Players do not lose position eligibility at any time during the season. To add to the positional advantage in Yahoo, Colson was coming into an offense that was getting a big upgrade at quarterback. During the offseason, the New Orleans Saints signed Drew Brees, who was coming off a shoulder injury the previous year during the last game of the season that required surgery. There were questions on how Breeze would bounce back from the injury, but in Breeze's last two years with the San Diego Chargers, Breeze played with another tall, physical tight end, Antonio Gates. During that two-year stretch, Gates had 2,065 yards and 23 touchdowns. In those two years, Breeze had targeted Gates more than any receiver on the Chargers, and Gates was the leading receiver on those teams. Then, a week and a half before the 2006 season started, the New Orleans Saints traded away their leading receiver from the previous year, Dante Stallworth. Stallworth had led the team in 2005 with 129 targets, 70 receptions, 945 receiving yards, and 7 touchdowns, all of which were team highs. Even after all of this, Marcus Colson was going undrafted in the majority of leagues and the few leagues where he was drafted, it was as a last round dart throw. Week one, Colston had an average receiving game of four catches for 49 yards, but one of those catches was for a touchdown, putting him at 10.9 points in standard, which most leagues in 2006 were. If you were in a league not in Yahoo and could play Colston only in the wide receiver slot, that line was still good for the number 14 wide receiver. But in Yahoo, where he was a tight end, he was the number six tight end. There were some intriguing waiver wire prospects heading into week two. Lavernius Coles was cemented as the number two wide receiver for Chad Pennington with the Jets, posting eight receptions for 153 yards. Also, unsigned rookie free agent Mike Bell, who had just taken over the starting running back role for the Broncos, had a top 10 running back game with 58 yards rushing, 30 yards receiving, and a touchdown. Even with those other options, Marcus Colston was starting to be picked up at a faster rate this week. Week 2 was pushing Marcus Colston into must-pick-up territory. 
he posted another average receiving line of four receptions, 58 yards, but caught another touchdown, giving him 11.8 points, which was good for wide receiver 17 for leagues other than Yahoo, and an amazing tight end number three in Yahoo leagues. If you were in a Yahoo league, it was probably gonna be too late to pick up Colston after this week. From weeks 3 through 10, Marcus Colston won on an absolute tear with 46 receptions, 762 receiving yards, and 5 touchdowns. He went for over 100 yards in 4 of those 7 games, and 3 of those were in a row in weeks 8, 9, and 10. In that 7 week stretch, Colston was a top 5 tight end 6 of those weeks, with 4 of those times being the number 1 tight end. Now, this is where our tight end cheat code falls apart. In the Saints' Week 11 matchup with the Bengals, Marcus Colston sprained his left ankle, taking him out of the game and forcing him to miss the next two games. If you could weather the storm for those three weeks, Colston came back Week 14 to start the fantasy football playoffs, posting a moderate five receptions for 48 yards. While this was not a good line for non-Yahoo wide receiver rankings, on Yahoo that line was still good for the number 7 tight end. Week 15 saw more stats for Colston, catching 7 passes for 84 yards. Another modest line for non-Yahoo wide receiver rankings, but as a cheat code in Yahoo, he was tied for the number 4 tight end. For the championship week, week 16, Marcus Colston reeled in a touchdown, adding to 4 catches for 37 yards. In leagues as a wide receiver, this was good for a top 20 wide receiver finish, and in Yahoo as a tight end, he was the number 5 tight end for the week. Marcus Colston's positional advantage at tight end led to many championships. Even with those 3 weeks missed, Colston finished as the number 1 tight end for the season. If you were in a non-Yahoo league and had him as a wide receiver, he was still the overall wide receiver 14 for the season. And as a waiver wire pickup, that definitely carried some people to a championship as well.